Harap ng ganda mo eh. Aww. Aww. Hey girl. Before that, gusto namin subukan yung Old Wives Tales. Okay, kung gaano siya katotoo. Before namin malaman yung gender ni Baby, kasi ang dami nagsasabi na pag nakikita nila ako, ah, lalaki yan, babae yan, and it's based on the Old Wives Tales. So, yun yung gagawin natin. Without further ado, Let's go! Let's go! Let's bounce right in the video! Okay! Okay. So, meron kami board dito. Ayan, boy and girl. And pens. So, ito. So, score namin kung sino or kung ano yung gender based on dun sa old, ala, ala, old wives' tales. Okay, first. So, 12 to ha. 12 to baby. 12. Mm. So, first is, sabi dito, sweet versus salty cravings. If you find yourself craving all these sweet things, that's a sign you're having a baby girl. Mm. Cravings for salty or even protein-rich foods mean it might be a boy. So, if you're craving for everything, well, that just means you're, you're pregnant. pregnant. <laughs> okay, so, ano cravings ka, baby? Ang cravings mo ay mga meat mm. and mga chips. And so mga oily foods, foods, actually. And salty food. Marami nagtaka dun kasi usually pag pregnant, di ba? Dapat chocolate, ice yeah. cream. Yeah. Marami pang sweets. Pero siya, meat. Gusto niya mga samgyup, yeah. mga ganun. Always. And fried foods and salty food. So, one point for baby boy. <laughs> okay. Alam niyo ba pag kumakain ako ng Mr. Donut na chocolate flavor or cake or icing mm. na chocolate, sino suka ko talaga siya. Talagang ang tindi nun. Pero gusto siya ng bila sweets, ako. Pero... Sweet. Gusto niyang kainin, pero ayaw nang siya niya. Nilalabas niya. Just in. So, next. If you're able to eat a lot of garlic but not smell like it, apparently that means you're carrying a girl. The garlic test. If you're mm. able to eat a lot of garlic, um, kumakain naman ako ng lot ng so gusto ko naman. Pag, uh -huh. pag may pansit talaga, super dami kong magay ng garlic at pag may shomai, hindi naman ako nag-iwas ng garlic, right? Mm. So 1.4, baby no, girl. No, pero ang niya, you're able to eat a lot of garlic but not smell like it. Hindi ka naging smell garlic. Girl ka. Pero kung naging smell garlic ka, boy ka. Did I smell like what? Wala ang pangamoy. <laughs> That's the problem. I can't smell them. I can't smell. Okay, but I'm gonna give the points to a girl. A girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. So, let's give it to one point for boy, one point for girl. girl. Okay, next, morning sickness. <clears throat> Morning sickness. Unfortunately, this early pregnancy symptom doesn't tend to discriminate. But if you're suffering from excessive nausea and morning sickness, it's said you could be having a girl. So excessive yun nausea ko, as in during um, for the past four months yata, early four months or fifth month, ngayon lang ako medyo naging normal. And I had been vomiting for like... 10 to 12 times a day. Super terrible talaga as in. Dun, yun yung, yun yung nagpaiyak sa akin na parang hindi ko na kinakaya yung pagbubuntis, yung paglilihe. So, if it's excessive daw, ang sabi, you probably could be uh, having carrying or having a girl. So, 1.4 a girl. girl. Mm, to one. To one. one. So, next. Pregnancy glow or no? Magandang dilag. Okay, sabi. If your complexion is bright and your hair resembles that of a Pantene commercial, you could be having a boy. If uh, that much talk about pregnancy glow is MIA and you're breaking out, and it might just mean you've got a girl growing. So, sabi, kapag gado nagbe break out ka and then pumapangit ka, you're probably carrying a girl. a girl. Kapag naman blooming ka and maganda ka and have bright complexion, you're probably carrying a boy. Sabi nga dito, little girl steal mom's beauty. Mm -hmm. Wow. Sabi. So, for me, um, para sa akin, yung screenshot niya. Um, 
pumuti yung complexion ko as in and then hindi ako nag-break out but then yung mga may mga parts na nangingitim like kilikili singit leg ko nagkaguhit-guhit pero complexion wise pumuti ako mm tsaka, tsaka glowing glow. hindi ka nag ano eh hindi ka nag kimi no toriko ni natte shimai wa kitto kono natsu wa hindi ka nagkaroon ng break out ng team yeah nag break out so that means um, I'm carrying a boy. Two points for boy. Oh, two. Next, partner's weight gain. Does that mean you? Mm -hmm. Oh wait, as this old wife's tale goes, if your partner is gaining weight alongside you, also known as sympathy weight, that could be a sign that you're carrying a girl. So if you... <laughs> Hmm. That's surprising, ano ba? Oh, it's very surprising. Partners weight. Actually, weight. hindi siya nag-gain weight. I lost weight nga. He lost weight as in the... And he's, he keeps on losing weight up until hmm. now. Lagi kang bumababa. And he's wondering, bakit siya bumababa? Is there something wrong with him? Nisip ko po may sakit na ba ako. Pero hindi naman siya babang baba. Getting bababa, bababa ng baba. Tama. Ang normal ko, 68, bumaba ako na 65. Oh, oh. Nang walang masyadong effort. Mm -mm. So that Pero means... ngayon, mga nasa 67 ako. <laughs> okay. So sabi niya, if you want to go to the gym when there's nothing to be done and uh, bumaba ba yung weight mo, I might be carrying a boy. Mm. So, three points for boy. So number six, moody versus mellow. If you're feeling more moody than mellow, you might be having a girl. If you're more chilled out, legend has it, you should get ready for a boy. So, am I moody? Mm. Hindi ako naging moody. Oh, na oh hindi ka moody. Ano ka? Uh, clingy. Clingy. Naging clean. Hingi ako. Pero hindi ko siya pinag-initan. Hindi niya na-experience matulog sa sofa. Oh. Hindi ko siya pininaway. Gusto niya. Kasama niya ako palagi. Always. Kas yun lang. Yun lang. Naging chilled clingy out. lang ako. More chilled out. So, And yun more yun. chill ako, di ba? Mm. So, so, sabi dito, if I, you're more chill, boy. it's a boy. It's mm. a boy. So, it's a boy. Four, two. <laughs> Next. The eye test. The eye test. Number seven. Look in the mirror for about a minute. If your pupils are dilating, it means you're having a boy. I'll get the mirror. Mm, shall I look at the mirror or just Pause look at me. you? I'll look at the mirror. I'll look at the mirror. I'll look Dilating yung parang mamumuti or something. Pupil? Mm -mm. Oh, bluish and whitish. Mm. Oh. Yung pupil. So sabi, look in the mirror for about me. If your pupils are dilating, it means you're having a boy. So it's it's dilating. It's dilating. So, um, but actually, hindi ko siya na clear out kasi hindi ko makita yung sarili ko. But let's give the points to you, boy. boy. And next. Carrying high versus, versus low. Ito yung pinaka talagang, ano sa akin, super extreme na nag-wonder ako kasi I have friends here in Sapporo and then lahat talaga ng belly nila para siyang ball na nakataas. Oh no! Yung sa akin, ang baba. Sabi ko, bakit ka nasa baba? Baka tataas din siya. So sabi Pero hanggang dito, ngayon, hindi pa rin. Pa rin. <laughs> so sabi, according to pregnancy lore, Carrying high means you're having a girl. Carrying low means you're having a boy. You're carrying And low. Let me show you. <laughs> Baba mo, baby. Yeah, I'm carrying low. So it's a point so, for boy. Points for boy. Next. The ring test. Number nine, the ring test. Ang sabi dito. Tie a ring on a string and hang it over your belly. If it swings in a circular motion, you could be having a girl. But if it's swinging side to side, it means you're having a boy. Oh, okay. So kapag ka circular yung ikot ng ring, ikot ikot lang, ikot ikot. Ibig sabihin daw girl. Siguro pagka nag swing siya naganyan, ibig sabihin boy. So we have another camera in here. And my ring. Okay, ito ka baby. Okay, ready? Go. Oh no. Both circular, no? no? Uh -uh. We tried it and it's circular. Lapag gumagano ganun siya. 
hindi siya yung nagsuswing na gumagano gana. So, what does, if it's circular, what? Girl. Okay, so, three points for girl. Nako yung heart rate. Yeah, it's 154. Girl. Okay. So, ano na siya? 6-3. So, ito lang yung ring ko. Next, heart rate. During your next ultrasound, pay attention to baby's heart rate. If that little ticker is spinning faster than 140 bits per minute, get ready for a girl. Ang heartbeat ni baby nung na laman namin is 154. So it's faster. That means, according to these old wives' tales, um, it's a girl. A girl. Six four. Bum bum. Next, Chinese gender chart. Chinese gender chart. Place one finger on the age you were when you conceived. So, sa akin, tignan natin yung Chinese calendar. Oh really? Yeah, Chinese gender chart. It says in here. Uh, yung age ko daw, place the finger on the age you were when you conceived and another finger on the month of conception. Where your fingers meet in the middle will tell you if you're expecting a little boy or a girl. So, I'll just show you the, the photo guys. So, ako, 29 ako nag- uh, actually, I, I just turned 29. 30. 29. 29? Oo, turning. Nag-conceive ka na ng 29. Nag-conceive nag ako ng 29. 20, 29. 30, Day, August 5 August 5 yung conception ko. Let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> August 5 to August 8 okay, ang nakalagay. Okay. So let's point on 30. <laughs> Nagtalo pa na. <laughs> Hindi kasi talagang nakalagay sa app is August 5. Between August 5 to 8. So basically August 5 is my birthday. Na, ano na siya? 30 na ako. I just turned 30 when I conceived. So 30 and then month na na conceived ko siya is August, August 10. So 30 in August. Male. <gasps> male. It's same din pag 29 din din. Oh, oh, for male, 29 it's, it's more. So 7 points Seven for Seven four boys living. Okay, next. Last one. Last one. Blood pressure before you conceive. This one is a little more tricky to do. A study found that the higher woman's blood pressure is 26 weeks before she conceived. The more likely she is to have a boy. So if you had a doctor's appointment before you started trying to get pregnant, look back and see what your blood pressure was. It's always low. Or low or normal ako. So... Um, the higher the blood pressure, more likely she is to have a boy. So, ako low always. Eh. So, oh. I'm gonna give the points to girl. The girl. So, final score. Five and seven. So, final score. Five and seven. <laughs> Based from 12 old wives tales. Hey, thank you so much guys for watching this video. So according to Old Wives Tale, sabi niya lalaki daw. So tingnan natin and if you're interested to know the, the gender of our baby, so just just click the next video. <laughs> Kasi i-upload na rin namin siya. Watch the video, very interesting oh, and oh, very fun. And very fun. Kasi hinila na namin tong dalawang boxes dito. <laughs> And thank you so much guys for being part of this and for joining us in our pregnancy journey. And don't forget to and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Okay. Goodbye. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Bye bye. <laughs>